Today we're going to make an animated GIF. So I'm going to use the program Paint. So step one says open Paint. In the Programs menu it's under Accessories. So you're going to go and go to Programs and find it under Accessories. If not, you could just do a search for Paint. It is a program on your computer. Um, it says step two. On the toolbar, select the text tool. It's the A. So I'm going to go up here and click on the A. And now that's selected. Whoops. There we go. And um, then I'm going to click on the canvas. And still in step two, it says select 72 for font size. So I'll come over here and select 72. Then it says type a letter and make sure you, you print, you have click the space bar twice between each letter. Um, it should also say that you can pick any font you want. And I don't want Century Gothic. So pick any style of of printing you'd like, do California there, and type your name and space twice between them. Whoops. Okay, mine went long ways, which yours might do too. Just pull it and now it looks like a name. So let's go on to step three. On the toolbar, select the rectangle tool and then draw rectangles around each letter. So we're going to go back to the home and find the rectangle tool. So we're going to put some rectangles around them. They can be all different sizes if you'd like. Okay, so there are my rectangles. Now let's go on to step four. Step four says, um, oh we already did that. It says that we need to, um, after we have them all drawn, we need to save it um, as plain GIF. You can save it in a folder, you can save it directly to your desktop. Excuse you can. Girls. Okay, so here we are. We're going to save it as a plain GIF. So I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to go down to Save As. Now it's going to give you lots of choices. You need to choose GIF. It only works if you save it as a GIF. So I'm going to click GIF. And then I'm saving mine directly to the desktop. You can save it anywhere you want, but I'm putting it on the desktop because um, I know I can find it. So, and I was supposed to name it plain GIF, dot GIF, and click save. And it says, does the qual color quality might be reduced? That's fine. It's not a high quality picture. All right, now. Let's go on, move on down to step five. Step five says, on the toolbar, select the paint bucket tool and fill in your first rectangle with paint. Okay, so here's the paint bucket tool. So I'm gonna select that, make sure it's selected. Then I'm gonna change the color from black to orange. So the first um, one is gonna be orange and I filled it up. Now, after I do that, I've got a font go and save it. So I'm going to go to File, just like I did before, and Save As. And we're going to save it as, you guessed it, a GIF picture. And I'm going to save it as L.GIF. So that I know that it's the L. Okay, and guess what? we got to fill in the E. So let's um, go and get a different color. And now it's green. I've still got on the paint bucket. I'm going to color it green. But now I have to save, save this picture. So I'm going to go up to File and Save As. And I'm going to go down to um, GIF. I'm going to save it as E.GIF and click Save. And you guessed it. Now i got to color the last E. I'm going to change it to blue. I'm going to go over and dump paint in it, and I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go down to Save As, over to GIF. And this time I'm going to save it as E2, because it's the second E in my name, which my name's not Lee, but it's, it's a quick name. All right, so then I'm going to click Save. 
All right, so now we've saved it, and I think that's step seven. It says using the paint bucket, fill the next rectangle, and you keep doing that as a pattern, and we've already done that. So we're going to go down to step eight. It says when you finish filling each rectangle and saving each time, you'll have a separate image for each letter of your name, plus one extra uncolored one called plain GIF. Um, in my case, I have four GIF images, but you'll have, of course, how many that are in your name. Then we're going to go to um, GIF Maker. So I'm going to click here, whoops, and now it says I'm going to upload them um, to this website. So let me click out of all of these things. Okay, upload image. So I'm going to click upload image. And then I have to find where that image is. So I'm going to go to desktop and look around. The first one I'm going to upload is this one called plain. Upload that one. Then I'm going to go and get the L, just the L. There it is. And upload. And then I'm going to get the E. And then I'm going to go get the second E. All right. So, and I can see it right there. I can make it go a little quicker. Or whoops, that's the canvas size. I can make it go a little faster, a little slower. Um, 500 is about where it's set, and that's fine. And it can be an infinitive loop. Um, you don't need to add any music because it will not download with music. So now I'm, it, I'm going to click on Create GIF. This is step nine. So if you're looking at your paper, which I've put my paper away, you click on Create GIF, and then it says um, View the GIF or Download the GIF. I'm going to download it. And then I can click on view downloads or if your says show in folder or something so that you find where it is. Okay, mine's called output. Yours might also be called output. Open folder. There it is. Whoops. I'm going to go get the folder. And it was called output something. All right, here it is. And... To see that it works, I'm going to, well, let me take it to the desktop. And then I can right click on it and it says open. Oh, wait, let's go down here to open with and open it with Internet Explorer. And you should be able to see it. Yep, looks good. And now I'm going to go to Google Classroom. And I'm going to click it and add um, add file and add file and click turn it in.